on this date in history. It's our story beginning in 1306 on March the 25th. Robert the Bruce, crowned king of Scotland on this date. What a cruel trick. I mean, you know, you can lose your life by calling the king by his wrong name, and his name's Robert the Bruce. It's like, how are you going to remember that? He's wearing a kilt, too. You don't want to call him Bruce the Bob. Ooh, it's, you're done with there. 1965, Martin Luther King Jr. led a march of 25,000 folks on the State House in Montgomery, Alabama. Voting rights. Lyndon Baines Johnson, president, guaranteed their safety. George Wallace standing in the way. What a moment in our story. Oh, musical day to be born or to die. Whew, my, the music was born and died on the state. Arturo Toscanini. He was born in 1867. Elton John, born in 1947. Listen to Tumbleweed Connection sometime. What a great record. Aretha. Miss Franklin, the Queen of Soul. She was born in 1942. She says, I'm a big woman. I need big hair. Cloud Debussy. He died on this date in 1918. And Buck Owens. Buck Owens died in 2006. Buck once said, I want to be rem remembered as the guy who showed up, ready to go to work, clean, and had a hell of a good time. I find most musicians to be that way. And 1609, Henry Hudson, sailing under the Dutch flag. Boy, Henry was a weird cat. He wanted to find a passageway to the Orient up and over the top. Found a lot of things, and as a Dutch sailor, found the Hudson River and Manhattan. Claimed it for Dutch also. 1807, the first railroad service debuted. 1807, passengers on the railroad, first time they uh, had paying customers in England, of course. And 1939, Billboard officially released what they called the Hillbilly Charts, the first country music charts. It's on this date in history, the 25th day of March.